Hi, Kipsters. So this is the first video uh, called Introduction to Decimals. So let me throw this on the screen for you. Uh, as you can see here, there's a dotted line that goes right through this decimal point. And I put that there for a reason. Everything to the left of the decimal point, that's holes. Okay, and as you guys know, there's many more holes all the way out to millions and billions. But that's all to the left. Uh, decimals are parts of a whole, and that's because they include these numbers here to the right. And as you know, uh, the further and further out you go, the smaller and smaller the part of the whole is. But let's start with that hole. Uh, here's a hole. We know we're in the ones place, and we like to call that, we refer to that as the box. Okay, so if you're in the ones place, that's one box. There's your one. There's your one down there. We're going to talk about uh, fraction form and decimal form. Uh, so don't freak out that these are both ones. They're going to change shortly. So as soon as you cross this line into decimal land, you start breaking things up into 10 equal pieces. So if I cut this hole up into 10 equal pieces, one of those pieces would look like this. Uh, we like to call that place name the tenthos. I like to pronounce the TH just to know that you are in uh, saying the decimal tenthas versus tens, which is all the way over here. So tenthas, we call them bars. They're worth one tentha and look like this as a decimal. Now you can keep going uh, further and further into decimal land. You cut this up into ten pieces. You take one tenth of this and you have that. The hundredthas that we call bytes, one out of a hundred. And because they're two place values, uh, away from the decimal point. You can see that here. That's one hundredth of one byte. Believe it or not, you could take this byte and cut it up into ten equal pieces. So one tenth of a byte looks like that. And I couldn't even make it small enough. This is probably even a little too big. Uh, but we call one tenth of a hundredth of, a thousandth of, and we like to call that bits. That's what one thousandth of looks like as a fraction and then as a decimal. And uh, for the sake of sixth grade, we're only going to go one further. I'm going to take this bit, cut it up into 10 equal pieces. And see, again, I couldn't even make it as small as it should be. This thing should be like a dot. Uh, and we call that a 10,000th or a crumb. One over 10,000, 0 0.0001. Couple things to note. Every time you move to the right, you're getting one tenth as big. And every time you move to the left, you're getting 10 times bigger. So it takes 10 bytes to make a bar. It takes 10 bars to make a box. And if you think about it, if I ask you how many bytes, how many of these does it take to make a box, it would be 10 times 10, which would be 100. Okay? The most important thing, though, is to know that these continue to get smaller. These are all parts of one whole. And as you move to the right, you're getting one tenth as big. All right. Now we're just going to focus on these place names and see how well you can go about memorizing them. So on this next slide, I leave this blank and I'm just going to be highlighting a place and I want you to call out the name of that place. Ready? Okay. What's that place? Thousandth is correct. All right, I'm going to stop saying them. I'm just going to flash them on the screen. You got to call it out as soon as you know it. Okay, go ahead. Good job. All right, uh, keep practicing that on the video. You got to be able to memorize those place names and do them fast. Uh, and one reason why is because it helps you actually read decimals. Let me throw a decimal up here for you. 
Uh, this was a calculator. I'd read it 1.304. But in real life, mathematicians read this a certain way. And the steps are relatively simple. Now, the first thing you do is circle what's to the left of the decimal point and just say, what's the name of that number? You guys are smart. Uh, and now the decimal point, you could probably remember that the decimal point, when we see that, we say the word, call it out, and is correct. Now, this last part, there's two steps. One thing is you circle what's in there and you just say it. Ignore the decimal point. Just this number here in this circle, how would you say it? Go ahead and call it out. All right, that's 304. And don't you dare put an and in there. The and is for the decimal point only. That's 304. Then the very last thing you do is you find the last place name all the way to the right. That's this one. And you just say what name it is. What's uh, that last place name called? Go ahead, call it out. Thousand does is right. So all you do, the full name of this is one and 304 thousandths. Let's try another. Okay, here we go. Uh, first thing you might notice is that there is a zero to the left of the decimal point. So in this case, what happens is you do not need to say, although you could, some people go zero and uh, that's not entirely necessary. So we're just going to skip that part and go right to there. Okay. Uh, what number did I just circle? Go ahead and call it out. 300 is correct. You don't say 0, 300. If you saw this number, it would be 300. Same thing as always. Go to the last place name. Call out. What is that last place name? 10 thousandths is, 10, is correct. So this number, uh, this decimal, read out loud, is 300 ten thousandths. That's exactly how you say it. I know it sounds weird. Okay, uh, take out your paper now. You should have this for guided practice. So. Make sure you have that copied down. And now what I'd like for you to do is on your computer, on YouTube, please press the pause button. And I want you to work out this problem and write this problem in word form now. So go ahead and press pause. No, seriously, I'm waiting. Press pause. OK, uh, if you press play, it sounds like you might have an answer for this, so let's check it out. Should have circled the five first and called that five. Decimal point is and. Circle that next. That should be 31. Last place name is thousandths. Uh, if you got that right, nice job. If you didn't, go back and watch the video again uh, and see where you might be making a blunder. For now, you have five problems to do on your own. You can see them here. I would definitely pause this screen because I'm about to peace out. So pause this. Write these numbers down carefully, copy them down carefully, and write each of them in word form. There are no shortcuts. Call me if you need any help. Deuces.